So today we are going to be talking about subject verb agreement. And so the first thing I want to highlight and talk about is that when you have a singular subject, you will also have a singular verb. And then when you have a plural subject, you will also have a plural verb. Now this can sometimes be confusing because one usually ends in S. So if it's like a plural subject, it's most likely going to end in S, but the verb will not. Whereas if it's a singular subject, the it's still going to be a singular verb, but that verb is more than likely going to end in S. So don't let that confuse you. So we're going to go over two sentences today with that, and um, I'll read them, and then if you could tell me the subject, and then the correct verb. So the first sentence is, the man with all the birds live or lives on my street. What is the subject and the verb for that? The man. Right. Lives. Perfect. And so we see there that this is a singular subject, but and a singular verb, but that is ending in S, and only one of them can. So the next sentence is, swimmers dive or dives into the pool. Dive is the verb. Yes, and the subject? Swimmers. Perfect. Okay, great job. Okay. So next, we are going to move on to sentences that have more than one subject. So when a sentence has two subjects and it's joined by end, it is a plural sub, it is a plural subject. Um, so it will have a plural verb. And then when a sentence has two subjects and is joined by or, that creates a singular subject because you're picking one or the other. And so your verb will also be singular. Um, so we're just going to go over a couple sentences with that. So the first sentence is, Megan and Allie is or are going to the grocery store? Are. Are. Right. And the subject? Megan and Allie. Yes. Okay. So the next sentence is, Ashley and Mandy is or are driving to the lake? Are. Right. Good job. And then our other sentence here is either my mother or my father is or are coming to the show. What is the subject? Mother or father. And the verb? Are. All right. So, so in this instance, it would not be are because we have or separating the two instead of and. And when it's or you're choosing one or the other, so that makes it singular. So in this case, the verb is is. Okay, so great job, good job. So let's see, um, what I, something to point out is in these first two sentences, we use action verbs, so there's one verb describing what is happening, whereas in these three sentences, we used a linking verb, which is a form of a to be verb. So what we see here is that both is and going, or are and going, are verbs, but we only conjugate the first ones. So then I'm just going to highlight one more exception that we can sometimes see. So no, um, nobody and everybody are words that describe a lot of people, but uh, are still a singular subject. So for an example, in the sentence, nobody know or knows the trouble I've seen, the verb would be nobody knows, because this is still singular. So even though it might be representing more than one person, it is still a singular subject. All right, well, that is all for today. Thank you. Oh, that feels good.